Hey there, fellow science enthusiasts. If you've ever stopped to wonder, what color is the sun, really? Then you're in for a treat today. Let's dive into this burning question and uncover some illuminating facts about our closest star. First off, despite appearing as a whitish-yellow orb in the noon sky and taking on a reddish hue at the horizon, the sun's true color is a bit of a cosmic puzzle. When we talk about the sun's light, we're referring to a mixture of all the visible colors of the electromagnetic spectrum. This blend, when combined, makes the sun appear white to the human eye. Now you might be asking why this is important. Well, this balance in the sun's light ensures that all colors are equally visible to us. If this balance were off, certain colors might be harder to see, altering our perception of the world around us. Officially, the sun is classified as a G2V star, or a yellow dwarf star. The G2 indicates it's among the hotter stars of the yellow G class, with surface temperatures between 5,300 and 6,000 kelvins. The V represents that it's a hydrogen-burning star on the main sequence of its stellar life. Now, onto how we perceive the sun's color from Earth. The visible light spectrum is just a tiny sliver of the broader electromagnetic spectrum, which includes everything from radio waves to gamma rays. The differences among these types of radiation, their wavelengths, frequencies, and the energy they carry. Most of us have witnessed the sun at sunrise or sunset, appearing distinctly red. This phenomenon, and even why the sky is blue, is due to how sunlight interacts with our atmosphere. Here's the cool part. Blue light waves are shorter than red or yellow light waves. Shorter wavelengths scatter more easily by the gases in our atmosphere, a process known as Rayleigh scattering. This scattering causes blue light to bounce around the sky and eventually hit our eyes from different angles. However, while blue photons are busy scattering, red, orange, and yellow photons travel more directly to our eyes when the sun is overhead. This direct path means less atmospheric interference, hence the sun's lighter color at midday. The plot thickens at sunset. As the sun dips to the horizon its light has to travel through more of Earth's atmosphere. This increased distance means more scattering of blue light leaving predominantly red wavelengths to reach our eyes, giving the sun its lovely red glow. Interestingly, environmental factors like dust and pollution can further scatter these wavelengths, leading to those intense reds and oranges or sometimes even a dull gray sky. To wrap up, while these changes in the sun's color are purely perceptual from our vantage point on Earth, it's fascinating to think about how these same processes are at play across the cosmos. And remember, one day, billions of years from now, our sun will undergo a real color change as it evolves with profound effects on our solar system. But that's a story for another day. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.